And we've already talked to the organizers about this, and we're saying, you need to add sprints. So what is a sprint? Now we've heard that in Singapore, for a while there were all these hackathons, where you go in, you spend a weekend coding like crazy, while business guys hound you, and at the end you get a prize, except for, most of you don't get a prize because it's, it's rigged. Um, <laughs> I mean, they're rigged in San Francisco, they're rigged everywhere. That's not what a sprint is. A sprint is where we all get together in a room and we code on open source stuff. And you get to do it with awesome people. Sometimes you have sprint leaders working on who, who belong to major open source projects like Jupyter or Django or Flask or whatever. Other times it's local stuff that you guys are putting together. The awesome thing is, is that you're working together collaboratively collaboratively in a room with people that you don't normally work with to solve common problems. And if you think, if you think, oh, my boss will never justify this. Let's say you're trying to justify this to your boss. You can say, hey, I'm going to be in a room with other people who work on the same stuff. We might be able to solve things that we're having trouble with at work. So sprints are, are not just about advancing open source. It's about advancing their knowledge. At PyCon 2009 in the USA, I learned Git and jQuery in an afternoon while also contributing to a major project. So that's, that's how I started on those two projects. Uh, and, and you can do the same. It's, it, you just learn while you're doing because you're, you're, you've got your hands on the code. You're not just absorbing it from some guy and a lady on a stage. You're, you're doing it. So we're going to go over some of some recent developments or history of things that we've done. Yes. Yeah, so, um, so what does a sprint actually look like? Well, the day before the sprint, there is a sprint kickoff where where the leaders of different projects will um, will present you know thirty seconds to present their idea and. And there'll be, you know, everyone will be in the audience listening and figuring out which project they want to sprint on. Most people have no idea what open source project they'll even contribute to until they get there. Um, this photo shows um, us uh, some of the sprint leaders um, together before the night before the sprint. What we were doing to prepare was we were creating tons of GitHub issues that were um, easy, low-hanging fruit, simple bite-sized issues for new contributors to be able to come and help out with. And then, you know, what we would do is, yeah, there are some things that Audrey and I could finish in 10 seconds. But we let people who are new to the project do it because that way they get familiar, familiarity with our project and submitting pull requests as open source. And after you do a couple of those, you're like, eh, this is too easy. I want to do something challenging. And then you're reaching and you're doing things that you haven't done before and you're advancing a project. It's really awesome. Yeah. So this here's a photo of what a sprint actually looks like. And it looks like a hackathon, right? Um, this. Uh, these two tables were um, the cookie cutter sprint tables and um, the sprint leads would go around uh, to one person at a time checking on them, uh, uh, see, making sure they had an interesting uh, bug to work on or, or a feature or documentation thing and, um, and, it's, and people's reactions were that it was, it was the sprints were their favorite part of PyCon, that it was a chance to to learn from some, you know, project leaders that they that they really admire and um, what you can see here, for example, is the project well I over there in the upper table is where the project Jupiter cookie cutter template work was going on. So really you know, people doing stuff. Some people were very experienced, other people were, were brand new. It, the skill level isn't important when you walk into a sprint. Yeah, and, um, and people didn't want to leave. This was us at 9 p.m. Very tired, wanting to go to bed. They wouldn't go away. But yeah, so, so you, you don't have to organize a sprint necessarily as part of PyCon Singapore. It could be as simple as as a random weekend, just get together to work on open source and um, and just have fun. Yeah, and once uh, we will warn you that once you attend a sprint, you'll want to do more. 
and they're cheap to run. Here, I'll move into the camera. <laughs> um, they're cheap to run. All you need is a venue, uh, maybe someone to pay for pizza or something else that you might want to eat and drink, and that's it. Just remember that this isn't a hackathon. There aren't prizes except for bragging rights because you committed to a project, notable or not. Uh, if someone does try to make it competitive, tell them to go away. That's not the spirit of sprints. So, thank you.